Look, unless you're writing one, a self-help book is an oxymoron. You read a self-help book so someone who isn't yourself can help you. That's someone being the author. This is true of the whole self-help genre. It's true of how-to books, for example. And it's true of personal improvement books, too. Some might even say it's true of religion books. But some others might say that those who say that should be pinned to the ground and bled dry with a slow slice of a blade across their throats. So it's wiser simply to note a divergence of views in that subcategory and move swiftly on. This book is a self-help book. Its objective, as it says on the cover, is to show you how to get filthy rich in rising Asia. And to do that, it has to find you, huddled, shivering, on the packed earth under your mother's cot one cold, dewy morning. Your anguish is the anguish of a boy whose chocolate has been thrown away, whose remote controls are out of batteries, whose scooter is busted, whose new sneakers have been stolen. This is all the more remarkable since you've never in your life seen any of these things. Well, it's the story of a, a boy uh, who becomes a man and eventually an old man. It's the story of a man's life from pretty much early childhood till death. And along the way, he passes through different stages, not just of life, but in sort of socio-economic success, from really absolute crushing rural poverty to quite poor urban life to more of a middle-class existence to uh, being quite wealthy and then part way back down again. And, uh, and so the novel tries to look at society. You can imagine, you know, a country like Pakistan, but it could be said anywhere really. But look at the society of that place um, in the form of one man's life. So if you took all 12 chapters, they add up to a man. But if you sort of lay them side by side, they could be 12 different people, you know, operating at very different levels of society, a snapshot of the country today. Uh, and uh, and it's, it's about the religion of money and the desire to become wealthy and how money is sort of all-powerful. Uh, but, but juxtaposed against, you know, other types of religion, uh, most importantly the religion of, of, of love, you know, for his family, uh, for this pretty girl that he falls in love with and stays in love with his entire life. Um, and uh, and it, it explores some of the, um, some of the spiritual questions uh, that come up in a, in a materially obsessed world. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.